Hey guys, I uh, just want to show you these three videos from when I had to go sign some papers in uh, Porcupine Plains, Saskatchewan. And following that, I got a few other little uh, skits here for you. Hope you enjoy them. Uh, number one of the day. Got her. Woohoo! Look at that. Sweet. Cool beans. Oh. Sign her up and throw her back. today. <laughs> Can't believe how easy these are to find right now. It's pretty sweet. How am I gonna get that out of there? I'll have to fish out the pen I guess. Number three micro or nano I guess. Pretty small man. Right on. Freaking snow. Cool. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed those first three videos. Uh, kind of got snowed out as you can see. Uh, I wasn't wearing the proper gear, had the sandals on. It sucked. So. Just those quick uh, three drive up and grabs. GPS's were all pretty good on those ones, which was surprising. But easy finds, middle of nowhere, not much traffic is great. Great day to be out. So, well, to conclude on the video, I guess, I wanna hit up a couple uh, Saskatoon caches here. But, uh, forgot my GPS. <laughs> well, there's uh, two or three that I kinda know the area of. I had them marked before, but I was unable to find them. And uh, this is one here too, I'm at a coffee shop. I know it's here, it's a high muggle location. So uh, I'm just gonna go for it, grab it as quick as I can, sign her up and uh, all that jazz. Hopefully I could find her. Um, there's not too many places here you could hide it, so I should be able to pick it up quick. I'll kinda show you here what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, so. Got bushes underneath the sign and more bushes. So let's get her done. Well, that was a failed attempt. <laughs> oh well, let's see if we can find some other one. Alrighty, guys. Uh, sorry about the fail on that uh, coffee shop cache. Uh, thought I knew where it was, but I uh, had too many muggles around and didn't want to look too out of place. So, with no further ado, no GPS, I found another location here. Uh, I tried this one before, but had too many muggles. And uh, surprise, surprise, today is not bad. Perfect. So here, this is what I'm looking at. All right. I got a tree, I got a post. Bet you it's under the post. Got a sign, some more trees, and a way scale post thing here. So, I know it's here somewhere. Hopefully I could find this so uh, all my videos aren't me just failing without a GPS because that would just be horrible. <laughs> so let's go find her. Hopefully we get her. Wish me luck. Nope. In the trees again. Always in the trees. When will I learn that things aren't always in the trees? Found a pretty crazy hole. This one I had marked on my GPS and I drove by a few times on my way to uh, other places. But this is what we got. Telephone pole, sign, sign, telephone pole, and nothing. So hopefully I could find this one. I mean it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, unlocked boxes. 
Let's check those out. Oh shit. I gotta rest it opening these up. Huh. Underneath. Out of No, let's check under this one. Oh! Ha ha! Oh! Can't reach it. There we go. Sweet. Score. And there we have it. We got it. Without a GPS on a marked location that I uh, drove past a few times. Can't believe I found it. A couple failed attempts there. It's a nano. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Well, I'm happy I found her without a GPS. Oh, she's hard to get out. Oh, she's jammed right in there. I'll have to work with that with both my hands there. But tiny, like compared to my fingernail there, she is small. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to sign this and stick her back, and uh, maybe I'll have enough time for try one more. If not, I'll be posting this shortly. Alrighty, so I just pulled up and uh, spotted one right here. Had her marked for a while. And I uh, just thought I'd check. It's either on this side or the other side. And the first one I pulled up, I just happened to find it. So uh, let's take a look at her. Alrighty, I just stopped in here to grab some hunting supplies and uh, I found this on the post. With no GPS. I had it marked before, I driven past it before. Never found it before. Because uh, I don't have a GPS, I figured I'd stop in and uh, grab some hunting supplies, like I said. And uh, I looked up on the post, and there she was. I just happened to stop my car in the right place at the right time. So as soon as this truck leaves behind me, I'll uh, throw it back and show you uh, kind of where I found her. It's pretty cool. So yeah, it's held on. These two little magnets. Awesome. All right, let's go stick her back. I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone's watching. I'll uh, have to block it with my car so no one sees me. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Ugh. And she's set. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those. Um, just kind of wondering. Uh, how many of you out there actually log your do not finds and kind of explain why you didn't find it? Uh, the, the coolest one I could think of offhand is uh, I found this one. They said it was in a, a big camo container, and all I found was shreds, shreds of uh, camo tape everywhere in the trees, in the grass, around these bleachers I was looking. Yeah, so I reported it as uh, a possible cache destruction the animal. <laughs> uh, needless to say, he went and looked at it and yeah, it was completely mauled apart by some sort of animal. And uh, I think he did put it back up and he kind of appreciated that log because uh, I do not find. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Uh, you should comment at the bottom. Whoop. And uh, let me know what percentage of uh, do not finds you post. and. Uh, all that yeah typically I do it all the time 80 90 percent uh, the other percentage there five ten percent whatever is uh only because when I get home I forget uh, forget to log some of them forget to uh, did not find log some of them uh, and then I have to go back and try to remember which ones that uh, I did not find so sometimes I do miss them well it happens, we're all human. It's easy to forget. Well, hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, I'll keep making more as soon as I can. Thanks.